Kristen Plays Roblox merch available now in the catalog. All of the links will be listed in the description. Don't forget to use star code Kristen when buying Robux. Hey everyone, it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, guys, I am so excited because we are going to be buying one of the homes that I have been wanting for so long here in Club Roblox. So of course, before we get started, make sure to give today's video a very big thumbs up and let's go ahead, you guys, and get today's video started. <music> Okay, you guys, so as you've seen, I'm sure from the title and the thumbnail, we are actually going to be getting a zoo today. <laughs> so I felt like it would just be such a fun build that we had in our inventory for all of our pets. So what we're gonna need to do actually is to go change our home and purchase that zoo. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited actually. <laughs> so it is 15,000 in-game dollars. So it's actually really not that bad to be honest. We are going to equip it and then we are going to go and actually do the tour. Oh no. <gasps> I literally just left my mansion and my baby is stinking. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna need to do, let's actually use our little sleigh here. So this you can get from the Christmas Miss Calendar. So what we're gonna need to do, let's actually go back home. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, there's even like a cash register? Ooh, I like this. This is one thing that I really love about the Club Roblox lots is that it does have this like little entrance. So that is how you leave your home. This looks really cool. So there's even a nice little front yard here. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, this is actually looking really cool because it looks like there is a lot more outside than inside. So you're actually gonna be able to add things for your pets to look realistic. Okay, <laughs> this is really cool. So I didn't even know we had these things. Wait, does that actually work? <gasps> that one actually let me through. This one is red and that is green. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I didn't even know we had those things. You can come over, sit down. Okay, we are of course gonna need to tour this building first. Nice, you can come up here. Okay, let's get rid of this. It might be a little bit too much. I'm um, to push that around. <gasps> I love this. I don't know why it took me so long to get this one. Wait, I think there's going to be like an outside area. Nice, I love, love, love the big zoo sign. I like that it's not too much. Like you also can come over here and you can actually turn this into like a functioning home. So if you wanted to pretend that you lived on the keeper grounds, cause you're definitely not gonna wanna make your home over in here. Ooh, I have like a lot of things that I have planned for this. What is over on this side? So, ooh, can you go in? That's kind of scary. Wait, my baby's hungry. Okay, let's do, let's go ahead and feed a cookie. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are almost ready to age up. We're still gonna need to like take a shower. I was like, what is that? <laughs> that is our land. Wait, okay, let's go in here. <gasps> Wait, is this like a thing? I'm gonna need to check out the zoo furniture. So there is like the little thing for hay and some pork chops, some raw meat, and a little water dish. Wait, do we have like a pet that we can use? Wait, I know I keep saying wait, but I have a lot of things running through my mind right now. <laughs> okay, what is one of the pets that we can use as a zoo animal? There is a turtle, that one can work. Um, do I have like any cows or anything? There's like a bunch of dogs, hamsters. Okay, let's do, let's pull out the turtle. Um, let's do actually the koala. Koala is actually a really cute. <gasps> oh my gosh, he literally ran right down in there. Like he knew exactly where he needed to go. Okay, we need to give our baby something to drink. And oh my gosh, we are making such good progress. Okay, so let's take another one out. I wanna see if the next pet will actually do like other things. So we can, let's actually equip a few. Let's do the goose. I feel like you would see one of those and let's also do the turtle. So let's kind of see. Oh my gosh, the turtle went over here to the sand and the water and the other two went over into this one. 
That is actually pretty darn realistic, if you're asking me. <laughs> Where's the goose? He's like running away. Okay, I do want to go in here as well. <gasps> this is cool. So he actually went right to the sand and he fell asleep. That is so cute. Okay, sorry, I think I interrupted him. And there's even like the water. I like this. One thing that I can't say, I love how the pets have that realisticness to them. Like they don't really just constantly float behind you. They kind of just like go and do their own thing. Okay. Oh my gosh. Where's he going? Where's my turtle going? He's literally, oh. <laughs> Where did he go? The koala went upstairs. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, we're at the zoo. Weird things can happen, I guess. Oh, wait. <gasps> there's a downstairs in here? Oh, and cool. There's like all of these lights. I wonder what would be in here. This is interesting. You could definitely have like a home down here, even though I feel like this is built for animals. If you wanted to actually make this like functional for your home, that could definitely work. But I feel like that might be more for like stock items. Okay, let's check out some of the zoo decorations. So they would be, I believe, outdoors and we have zoo. Okay, so the zoo furniture, you can do at the benches. So I have seen the benches over there as well. And then there also is some outdoor lights. Can you actually, oh, nice. Oh, cool. Oh, so you really can customize it. Can you change the color on these? Nice. Oh, yeah. We definitely have some decorating to do. I wonder. <gasps> you can even change the color of these. Nice. You can add like a door. I think I might need to do something like that to make it a little bit easier to get in. We also have the outdoor bin and the jungle tree. I love the jungle trees so much. Oh, there is a ticket barrier. That makes sense. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Okay, so you can add more of those. The herbivore feeder, okay, and also the carnivore feeder. I wonder, can you change the color of the meat? So you can change the color of that and that. Okay, no. Interesting. Okay, let's get rid of all this. Don't really want to clutter up my brand new zoo. So I absolutely am going to need to get decorating this. And especially now that I've seen that you can actually like change the color. What else is there that we could add? Ooh, farm. <gasps> Guys, I feel like you could definitely add farm stuff in here as well. I'm kind of looking. There's like the little bales of hay and the cow shed. All right, you guys. Well, that is where we are going to be ending today's tour of my brand new zoo. Of course, if you guys want to see me completely decorate this out for all of our zoo pets, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Make sure to give today's video a very, very big thumbs up. And hopefully, I'm going to get to see you all next time. Bye, guys.